whatever your opinions may be about electric cars, electric cars are coming at you thick and fast and across the spectrum. This is a preview of AMG's full electric performance car. That car based on the AMG EA architecture that's coming next year. And this concept, the GTXX concept, it previews the technologies, it previews the interior, it previews the exterior styling. It also previews a lot of the materials and detailing that you will be seeing on AMG's performance electric car. This is the Evo India channel. Make sure you follow and subscribe to the channel and let me take you around this GTXX concept. Before we dive into the styling, a word on the technology because this is very important. This concept, it has the axial flux motors. Now, axial flux motors have been around. They are used in hybrid performance cars like the Lamborghini Temerario, the Ferraris also. They use those motors, but this is going to be the first application where these motors are used in a full electric car. Now, these motors, the advantage is three times the power density and two times the torque density. It also has more compact packaging, so 67% better packaging efficiency. Axial flux motors deliver a considerably higher sustained power as well as higher torque output than conventional radial flux motors, offering a new level of continuous performance that was almost unthinkable in the world of electric mobility as claimed by AMG. The technology was originally developed by British electric motor specialist Yasa, now a 100% subsidiary of Mercedes-Benz, and these motors will enter series production at Mercedes-AMG in 2026. Total system output. Wait for this. 1000 360 horsepower. It might be slightly over that. Torque, they're not telling us what the torque will be, but I'm guessing probably 1500, 1600 Newton meters. So this is going to be unbelievably fast. No word on the acceleration times or whatever, but I'm guessing zero to 100 in 2.2, 2.3 seconds, slightly faster than a Formula One car is what you could expect in the AMG electric car when it comes on sale. Now at the rear, there are two electric motors packaged into one unit and at the front, there is one electric motor. That front electric motor can also be disconnected so that it improves the efficiency and the rear motor, the weight is 140 kilos, the front motor is around 75 kilos. So this is more power dense and the aim is to use the power more frequently. These units are called high performance electric drive units. The rear unit incorporates two axial flux motors, each equipped with a compact planetary gear set and one inverter in a single casing. The motors and transmissions are oil-cooled. The front unit serves as a booster motor and kicks in when additional power or traction is required at the front. Together, this delivers 4MATIC plus all-wheel drive. And to aid efficiency, a disconnect unit decouples the front unit when not needed. With this architecture, performance is the priority. So what AMG says is that this should be able to do laps of the Nürburgring, then come in, charge, charge at full high speed and go back and do laps of the Nürburgring without any break. 400 kilometers of range in five minutes. It can take an average charging power of more than 850 kilowatts at 1000 amperes over a wide range of the charging curve and the architecture is over 800 volts. This obviously is a sandwich platform and the cells are cylindrical cells and the cooling. Now, the big innovation is in the cooling and in the coolant. A non-conductive cooling material is being used and that helps in deploying this performance consistently and repeatedly. The high voltage battery is a new development benefiting from F1 experience and uses exceptionally tall and slim cylindrical cells. Direct cell cooling uses a high-tech coolant based on an electrically non-conductive oil that flows around each individual cell to maintain the optimum temperature and rapid heat dissipation under load to ensure each individual cell is kept within the optimum temperature window for repeatable performance. Okay, styling, my word, this really is something else, thoroughly in your face. So it's got this typical gaping grill which is also illuminated. Well, you don't need a grill on electric cars, but this is an aero element and there are vents at the top of well, what used to be the bonnet. So this aids the aerodynamic efficiency. Overall CD 0.189. This is low, this is wide, but what do you think about the styling? My opinion, when I first saw this, these headlamps especially, they gave me Ferrari feels. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. But I can tell you, looking at it in the metal, this is something else. Huh? It really blows you away. Second is light. Now, this is electroluminescent paint 
and that can convey different things for instance charging status or when you are taking off these things light differently so this is the second part the third part is movement and that is up front with the wheels 21 inch aero wheels now very interesting wheels these are five spoke aluminum wheels and these carbon inserts they're sort of like petals and they open depending upon what the car thinks is required so if the components need cooling these petals open up and how does the opening work now in this center lock kind of thing this is kind of like a cycle dynamo so when it rotates this obviously stores energy and that is used to open these petals isn't it very very cool and fourth is text this is the mbux fluid light panel it has over 700 rgb leds and 3d optics and here you can have text for instance it can say amg it can have a welcome message a greeting now these are pre-programmed and via the app you can play it out here theoretically you can play whatever you would like over here but obviously for sense and safety they only have certain elements that are pre-programmed which you can show up here and while I have you at the rear, these tail lamps, well, they have taken inspiration from iconic tailpipe design. There is no tailpipe out here. And all the technical elements, this underfloor, venturi, all that aero parts, all of that is in gloss black. And above that is in this painted kind of orange thing. To me personally, the rear, now this looks really, really cool. The front, I don't know, I still have to make up my mind over it. But from the rear, this looks stunning. In fact, if you come closer over here, you will notice there is no rear glass. They have cameras up there and that's so that you can get this smooth flowing curve and really in profile and especially the rear, this looks hot. This looks really hot. <laughs> AMG is making a big play about the digital experience on this concept. So there's tech, there's light, there's sound and there is movement. Now sound. Behind the headlamps are speakers and those speakers, they emit a sound. For now, that is not growly and woofly noises. This is not trying to mimic an internal combustion engine. But those sounds are for pedestrian warning, all the safety sounds. All that is via speakers behind the headlamps. Not a fuel filler lid. This is where the charging port will be. This is a four door coupe, but just look at the flow of the rear, the rear three quarters. I think it just is so beautiful. It conveys speed, it conveys movement. You got that AMG graphic up there. My, I, it just is so nice, this angle. This angle is just so cool. Now, the rear doors on this concept don't open. Let me take you up front and that's going to blow you away. The front seats are based on carbon fiber racing shells incorporating 3D printed seat pads specific to each driver. The idea is that each driver will have their own set of seat pads that can be quickly swapped out in a similar fashion to driver changes at the Le Mans 24 hours. <sighs> this is awesome in here. It's sort of like a GT3 racing car, but it's a little bit more luxuries. The material on the seats. Now, this is not leather. This is biotech leather. And that is made using recycled GT3 racing slick granules. They use a protein powder or something like that. And then that is fused or blended and you can then tan the material and it smells like leather because of the tanning. It feels like leather and it is twice as hardy as leather. So all the leather, except for on the steering wheel, is that biotech leather. There's more bio materials. I'll talk about that. First, let me try and get in here. You will have to be fit, A, to get into these high performance electric cars and B, to handle the G-forces. Like I said, 0 to 100, maybe 2.2, 2.3, 2.5, 2.8 .2 seconds is what a Formula 1 car does. This might be under 3 seconds. So you have to be like really fit to be able to handle the G-forces that this can throw at you. Anyway, I was talking about the design. Now you have these twin screens which are angled towards the driver. This is a driver-focused and driver-centric car. There's no screen for the passenger. 
these elements now this element here that's supposed to evoke kind of like a motorsport thing where you have the engine kill switch so this is supposed to evoke that then you have these kind of blocks with these cooling fins and elements all these orange piping kind of things that has drawn inspiration from high voltage cables so all of this glows orange and gives it this techy feel where AMG they want to convey the whole technology on the inside as well they don't want to hide behind the technology in fact they want to make a big play about the technology this finish on the dash now this is kind of like a crackle finish and where have we seen this before the ferrari cylinder heads the red crackle finish this is exactly like that and this crackle finish is on the top of the dash it's also on the center console it's on the doors i think it looks super cool the steering wheel it is not flat bottomed nothing like that this is like a formula 1 steering wheel with the four spokes from a regular amg steering wheel the paddle shifts behind it says down and up but i don't know what down and up is going to do on an electric car the same stocks that you would find on an amg something that looks like a shift light but what would a shift light do on an electric car i'm really curious to find out that kind of merging the ice world with the ev world Oof. the rear there are seats at the rear but because on this concept they want to focus on the driver so there is that linkage for the six point harness which is digging into my back no panoramic sunroof none of that nonsense this is unpainted carbon carbon roof and you can see the carbon weave which again looks so cool and finally another biotech element the door pulls now again this is motorsport inspired and these door pulls now this is not silk or anything this is actually a technical fabric that is again done using some bacteria and protein and from that you get a yarn uh, some process to it i'm not a material expert but this is all it's biotech material and again crackle finish on the door pads it's illuminated behind over there now these amg logos the door fasteners are behind these logos there are four of these and again it's a sign of how motorsport has all these functional elements this has drawn inspiration from those functional elements but also made it look really pretty charging like refueling save that thought while i try and get myself out of this 400 kilometers in 5 minutes high performance technology high performance battery packs to be able to do laps of the nurburgring come charge at full pace and then go back and do more laps at the nurburgring also with electric tech you'll be able to really fine tune the handling the power delivery make this a really really quick car and the aim is to be able to use this power and use all the performance more consistently also the styling this is the best angle on the concept gt xx but of course this is going to be the look of the final car based on the amg ea platform that platform will spawn a whole range of electric cars from amg this is going to be the first what do you think about the concept gt xx are you excited by high performance electric cars let us know in the comments <music>